Hi, hello and welcome, MicroPuntry here and today I would like to put some food under the microscope but it's not any type of food. A few days ago I went to a local cafeteria and for the first time in my life I tried to eat vegan meat. Um, yeah, and maybe it's also the last time because I did find a few things in the vegan meat that I did not like uh, so much. Um, the food itself was pretty good. Um, it tasted like chicken um, and uh, quite spicy. And uh, yeah, I did, indeed I took a small sample of the vegan meat along home. This is how it looks like. It does look uh, quite uh, almost uh, like real meat, uh, like like chicken almost. Um, and what I've done is, is I've uh, of course immediately made a specimen slide to observe under the microscope. And for storing it for a long a period of time I also stored it in alcohol and this also has of course uh, withdrawn some water. But um, yeah, a small sample I placed on a microscope slide, I plucked it apart using a few tools, I added a cover glass of course on top to make sure everything is nice and flat and then I simply put it under the microscope to actually observe uh, what I find. Um, of course I already knew that uh, vegan meat is made in most cases of soy products uh, but I did not see any plant cells uh, in uh, here. Uh, to A little bit to my surprise, I expected to see at least some plant material, but I saw all I saw was a, a mess actually here. Yeah. Just fragments of, of I don't know what. Um, and uh, there were actually no recognizable structures that I was able to find, which was a little bit of a disappointment because at least I was hoping to find something or that I could recognize. And after a couple of minutes, yes, I found something. I was so happy when I found that. And maybe some of you actually also recognize what this is. This is so-called xylem tissue. And xylem, these are the cells that transport water up a plant. Um, yeah, so this is indeed evidence that uh, we're looking at plant-based uh, meat here. But there were also things in there that I did not like uh, so much. And the, these long structures that you see here, these are fibers and these are unfortunately contaminants. Um, these fibers uh, in some cases can be synthetic um, and uh, you find them also in clothing for example. Synthetic fibers in clothing that are washed out during the washing process and then end up in, in the water and in streams and also in nature and scientists even have found them in rain droplets. So unfortunately they are quite common in nature these days and uh, they are unfortunately a source of microplastics and they are taken up by, by tiny animals and now we can see that uh, they are also um, end up in fields, uh, soybean fields maybe. And so somehow I found their way also into this uh, yeah, vegan meat here. And uh, to my surprise, um, I found quite a few of those fibers um, in the specimen sample. As a matter of fact, maybe on one microscope slide in a tiny piece of uh, this vegan meat, I found maybe three to five um, of these fibers. I did not even have to look very hard for them. Um, and some of them were, were fairly long. Yeah, um, Some of the fibers of clothing, of course, could also be cellulose. Uh, but um, I think that some of these here probably indeed are synthetic. Um, they are even some of them are even stained, some of them blue even, um, and a little bit to my surprise, they were not shredded up um, um, like the other parts um, of of the specimen because all of the other particles that you see are quite small usually and maybe so the soybeans were kind of shredded and, and ground up to, to some kind of a flower maybe. Um, but those um, the microscopic fibers um, essentially have survived this process and can now be found also in the vegan meat. And that was actually the thing that I have to admit uh, disappointed me a little bit um, because um, even though I knew that vegan meat is highly processed food um, and I don't know exactly what additional substances they have added uh, to the vegan meat, but I really don't like the idea of actually having to eat uh, those microplastics uh, that can be found. Um, I'm also not really surprised uh, that uh, I found them because uh, I know that uh, they're so ubiquitous these days um, that uh, scientists even have found it in rainwater, in rain droplets. They have found their way um, into the soybean fields and now basically they end up uh, on um, our dish uh, and uh, we eat them. Right, um, so this is a little bit of a thing that um, illustrates uh, quite a bit that, uh, yeah, essentially the human impact uh, that we're having on on the environment and uh, ultimately, therefore, of course, also on our food. Yeah, so for this reason, I have to tell you, I don't know um, if I would like to continue eating uh, this um, artificial meat <laughs> um, so much. But then again, yeah. Um, I think uh, too much of anything is not good um, and uh, too much regular meat is also 
not good. It also increases the carbon footprint. But maybe also the vegan meat um, maybe is not quite as environmentally friendly and uh, as we hope it to be, especially because it is so highly processed. Well, just my opinion, just some thoughts that I have. I'm quite sure that some of you have different opinions here. I'm an open-minded person. I try to be one at least. Therefore, of course, I invite you for some critical comments in the comments section below. Uh, but uh, for today, I would like to say all the best. Happy micro-punting. As always, see you around next time. Bye-bye.